Shalom brothers and sisters. So this morning we will be making a natural chest rub for congestion and respiratory issues. We're building our apothecary so that we will have all of our natural herbs and salves and tinctures on board when we need them. These natural apothecaries, um, tinctures, salves, and rubs can last you anywhere for up to five to ten years. Now, I have my handwritten notes in my Mary Sheffer notebook that I purchased off Amazon. You can also purchase it at MarySheffer.com. And I've made this whole mess now. I've cleaned my mess up put all of my little papers and notes away so in my measuring cup here we're going to measure all of our ingredients and put them in a double boiler to finish our process to start our process actually so you're going to first need one cup of beeswax And I added in cocoa, coconut, coconut butter, if I can get it out, coconut butter. And I added half of half a teaspoon. Now the recipe doesn't call for this, but I added it because we are adding it to that, rubbing this onto our skin. And this will just give you an extra layer of moisture to your skin. And that is one tablespoon of coconut butter oil a coconut oil now I'm going to take it and put it in a double boiler until all of our products have melted and combined and then we're going to allow this mixture once it come off the double boiler to come to a cool down before adding our essential oils I'm going to use this wooden skewer to mix my oils so just to keep from having to wash further dishes. The more you mix, the easier your oils will melt and combine together. So you want to make sure you thoroughly mix your oils so that they can combine, marry, and love each other the way we should. I'll be back once all of my oils have thoroughly mixed and combined. And I had to add just a little bit more water to my double boiler. I didn't put in enough. Next 
sugar that you melted have come to a complete cool down before adding in your essential oils. You don't want to burn your oils off. If the oil is too hot, it will easily boil off all of your fragrance and your benefits and properties of those essential oils would just be a waste. So you want to stir and mix it thoroughly again. It's about the stirring today. And I'm going to add in 50 drops of the essential oils of choice, which is peppermint and eucalyptus. And then I'm going to add in a couple of extra essential oils, such as frankincense, lemon, and um, I think that was all I added. But what I'm saying is I'm not going to tell you the benefits of these essential oils because I want you study this out for yourself find out which oils you want to add because there are a lot of oils you can add for respiratory such as oregano uh, frankincense um, lemon eucalyptus peppermint spearmint but do your research for your family don't take my word for it follow the basic recipe but know why you are putting the oils you're choosing to use into your recipe. Remember, this is your apothecary, not mine. I'm just a guide to show you how not to instruct what to do, but how to do it. So I used half of a, a fourth of a teaspoon, sorry, fourth of a teaspoon instead of standing there dropping 50 of the individual oils, I just did half a teaspoon of each into my uh, chest rub. Now this one is, I'm looking for, I think, the uh, frankincense. Please do your research. Well, anything you see on these social media apps, study it out for yourself so you'll have a clear understanding of what and why you're doing the things that you're doing. And remember, Pam is building her apothecary for her family. You build your apothecary for yours. This is just a simple guide. And I, I repeated that because I wanted to be thoroughly clear as to what we're doing and why we're doing it. Mix very well. Even after adding your essentials, you want to mix your mixture very, very well to distribute all of your oils throughout for maximum uh, immune support and the help that you're looking from it for. Now we're just going to pour them into our little glass jars. They're, I think they're two ounces each. I'd have to go back and check. I don't remember. Forgive me for that. I thought I would make my mixture would only make two jars, but it ended up making four. So it has these have to be uh, two ounces because my recipe makes. Eight ounces. Once you've poured them into your jars, again, we're going to do a cool down and allow that to sit and solidify, and then you can begin to use. Remember, these rubs can last you anywhere from 5 to 10 years.
have to go back for another jar because remember this is eight ounces and they are two ounce containers each and I didn't bring out enough jars and here I am being a little greedy because I will leave no rub behind so I'm going to just scrape out what solidified into this jar So now I'll just cap them all, allow to cool, and then label them. You may want to even put the date on yours so that you can keep in mind the minute or the day that you process your um, chest rubs and salves. Thank you for watching my videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you find anything you like about this particular recipe. Shalom.